Hey everyone, uh, this is Danny from Minecraft Education Support Team, and um, we realized that you know purchasing licenses can be uh, difficult as a commercial user. So I'm here to help guide you through the whole process. And um, so to get started, we're going to just pop over to your favorite browser, and we're going to type in um, aka.ms/mee by commercial. Feel free to pause this video uh, at any time just to, to keep an eye out on a section that you need more help with. Um, so yeah, I would just recommend to read through this whole process. It's basically exactly what we're going to be doing in the video today. But um, you'll be able to kind of go back and need some help. If you need some more help with a section, then you can go back. Um, so we're just going to click the link right at the top here. And that will take us over to um, purchasing for a commercial. So from here, um, we're going to just type in an email. I know it says, you know, work or school, um, but you can actually use any sort of email address for this. So here you'll just need to enter your um, your first and last name and, an, and a valid phone number as well. So the company name might trip up some couple people, but don't worry too much about it. Um, it's just going to say um you can you can you can add any sort of company for that um it, it doesn't have to be a real company so this is the next and most important page here um please take note of the information you enter in the username and the domain field so this is what you're going to be using to log into admin center not your email address that you used at the beginning um, it's going to be this so please take note write it down somewhere um, keep it close to you this is how you'll be logging into admin center and that'll send you over to your payment details page where you can uh, enter all your credit card information and then you'll be good to go um, you'll have your licenses and and you'll be able to um, proceed with uh, minecraft um, so now we're going to be take go ahead and over to admin.microsoft.com. Um, this is where we will assign our licenses and be able to actually um, assign them to your different users and um, and be able to use your the licenses that you purchased. So this is where we use the email address that you created um, that very important one make sure you that you've written down not the one that you, your your main um, personal email address so after you log in here you can click stay signed in and then you'll see this page so we're going to go to add new user add user because we're going to add a new user and then here you can type in your first name and your last name um, and you'll notice that there's different types of names here, like a display name and username. Um, so the display name is for the IT admin. The username is what you're going to be logged in with. And then your in-game name, which isn't ex explicitly said, um, is going to be the combination of your first initial and uh, your first name, sorry, and then your last initial. So now we have some licenses and, and a user here. Um, and the way you assign them is you're just going to create the user. Um, you'll, I, I would recommend s clicking this setting for sending a, a password and email upon completion to, um, to, to the admin. That way we can keep tr they can keep track of um, the, the, different, the different users and their passwords. All right, so for right now, we're going to go ahead and click next here at the bottom. And uh, this is where you would assign product licenses by uh, clicking this checkbox. But for right now, we're not going to attach it just so um, we can see what happens. Go ahead and click next. And then here it just shows some optional settings. And we'll click next here. And though this is simply a review page um, where we can make some edits if we want to as well, but we're just going to click finish adding. All right, so now it shows that the calm test is ready to play Minecraft. Um, you'll, you'll notice that it, it, it says that even though we didn't actually assign the licenses, 
Um, but this is still true because every user that has created an admin center is entitled to 10 free trial logins of Minecraft education. Uh, 25 free logins for teachers with an Office 365 education account. So technically this user is still ready to play Minecraft education even though the licenses were not attached yet. Um, it's worth noting you can't disable this feature. Users will always be able to have free logins uh, when they are created. This page also shows your username and your password, which is going to be very important to remember, so um, please write that down. It is also worth noting you can save these user settings as a template to make your life easier if you're adding multiple users. So now we're going to go back um, to a user that we would like to add licenses to and actually add them this time. You can click the three little dots next to their name, uh, and then we can go to Manage Product Licenses. Um, you'll also be able to edit their username from this menu. So now we see a checkbox, um, and we can click it this time and click Save Changes. And so now you can go ahead and close that window, and they will have their Minecraft Education licenses now. Here you can see at a glance who has them and who does not. The, the license column shows unlicensed for those that do, does not have it and then it will show the license when they do have it. And now we can go back and remove them just as simply as we add them if we needed to. Um, and to do this, you can do this as many times as you would like to. Um, if, for example, you keep getting new cohorts added to your class and you will need to swap out licenses to different users, this is probably the best way to do so. And so ends our purchasing and assigning licenses for commercial users. I've been Danny from Minecraft Education Support Team and I hope this helped you out. I very much enjoyed making it. Stay tuned for some more. And feel free to reach out to the support team here if you have any further questions. Have a great day.